How you doing? This is BK for ManfulWars.com and uh, ManfulWars Media, where I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide offline, teach kids locally to look, talk, and feel great, and uh, tell people worldwide offline, locally discuss and share great info they find online, offline, as uh, better people making better places to live, people respected by and connecting well with their neighbors, giving them a chance to think for themselves beyond the protest. We're really mad. We already know. We're done, time to go home, reaching out to people and, and sharing information in a variety of ways. So uh, see the description below for more on that and more on what we can do today about this COVID-1984 bad novel coronavirus, this COVID-19 plandemic, panicdemic, scamdemic. Well, there's a lot of questions on that and you can see the news sources below for more on that or see some of my videos for my take on what's going on with respect to that. Um, but this video is also related to that. And this is called Canadian Fight Club, episode 001, Less Assholes, More Donuts. Cool, eh? Manforwars.com, 100% HD video proof. So Canadian Fight Club, episode 1, Less Assholes, More Donuts. Cool, eh? Um, and uh, Manforwars.com, 100% HD video proof. And this is an intro to a couple of raw videos I shot on Saturday, April 18th, 2020, around 2.30 p.m., and um, it's HD video proof. Uh, it's near Church in Carlton in uh, downtown Toronto. And then from there, uh, south along Young Street. And then from there uh, to Young and Dundas or Dundas Square, proving that what I'm saying is true and proving that millions of people, millions of diverse people in Toronto understand, agree, um, respect it. And uh, this is something that can work for Toronto, for Canada, and because of the nature of our population, can work worldwide. And so if you have similar issues wherever you are in the world, this could possibly help you. But this is definitely, um, you know, something related to that. So <clears throat> um, the, 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 the first point I'll make on this is uh, polite Canadians, right? Canadians are known to be world famous polite Canadians, right? So polite that we're bland, we're like light mayonnaise, right? You don't worry about us, you don't worry about a damn thing we're gonna do, damn thing we're gonna say. We're world famous for being polite, right? You, any Canadian goes anywhere in the world. I go to uh, uh, a Blarney in Ireland to kiss the Blarney stone. I went to Cork and Blarney in Dublin uh, many years ago. And they look at me and they see goofy looking brown guy twinkling in my eye and they go, hey, so where are you from? And I go, oh, we're, we're Canadian. Oh, Canada. Oh, no problem, right? And we're in a bar in Blarney. There's a bunch of locals there, and they're looking at us, wondering who we are, why we're there. And there's other tourists in the area and so on, but they're just sizing us up. And once they hear we're Canadian, they go, whatever. Who cares? It's a Canadian. So Canadian walked into our bar. We're a bunch of locals. We're not sure if they're going to be cool or not. But once we hear they're Canadian, who cares, right? And, and so you go anywhere in the world, and they find out you're Canadian, and they go, great. You know, I went to Puerto Rico, went to a Puerto Rican guy's house, hung out with him and his family. Some Americans were there, like Americans from America, not Puerto Rican Americans, you know, in terms of being Latin. And they were like, hey, you know, come on over to our house. We got some fresh fish. I'm like, how fresh? He goes, we caught it today. It's like, ah, we, it's no problem. Me, I've gone all over the world. I've been Canadian, India, Thailand, uh, Italy, Greece, all over the place, you know, Paris, London, South Africa, you know, and, and it's the, it, once they find out you're a Canadian, it's like a pfft whatever you're, you're fine because you're, you're world famous for being polite right or people come here to canada they go anywhere in canada they go to st john's on the east coast they go to uh, vancouver on the west coast they go to uh, calgary in the midwest right or manitoba or they go to ontario now there's different flavors quebec right but typically polite canadians that's what we're world famous for and if canadians aren't polite which is our national identity what are we zombies exactly Right, because that's what's happened is polite Canadians, world famous polite Canadians have been turned into rude, sketchy zombies, right? Guys discouraged from talking, want to get looked at, and then so they, nobody wants to look at them, nothing to look at, no one to look. So they sexually harass each other, try and force each other to look at each other like rude, ugly girls who have to force you to put up with them. They don't want to look, they jealously harass girls, try and steal attention they get, bump into them, follow them around, hope someone looks at them and they can spaz out and get looked at playing with their hair, wiping their face, look at their body, look at their butt, wipe their nose, look at their toes, right? And so they make everyone sort of put up with an act like them when you can't do much else with them, and that's what's happened. So 
You can see manforwars.com, the history section, for more on that and how it happened in more technical detail um, and so on. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to talk about it. It's the most important thing in the world. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to people, including Canadians, uh, until this coronavirus, global martial law, pandemic, lockdown, tracked and searched and drugged and chipped or never leave your house again bullshit, which is what being turned into zombies set us up for. Because... Basically, people act rude and sketchy with people they know. Hey, put up with me, put up with me. Don't say anything, don't say anything. I'll feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue, keep bothering you. It's like, ah, oh, never mind. I, so I can't just look at that. I got to bother you back and act sketchy back. And then people act sketchy back and forth with people they know. They make it hard to be nice and look at and talk to each other. You can't be busy. You can't be happy. You can't be nice. You can't look at. You can't talk to people because they worked up and try and force you to put up with them. And then people do it back and forth with people they know till they can't talk much. And when they do talk, they just argue. So why talk? And then when they make each other zombies and they can't do much, they run around looking for nice people to bother to try and turn them into zombies. They look for nice people sitting over there, nice people walking around. They see you and a friend walking in, around and getting along with each other, and they run in front of you and start spazzing out, trying to force you to look at them or put up with them, or they bump into you and then try and trick you into looking at them, right? Or they'll follow some, you know, six foot, I, a couple of few days ago, I uh, saw two six foot uh, three, 200 plus pound guys, kind of shabby-ish, um, following this poor little skinny uh, Chinese lady um, with her six-year-old daughter and her baby strapped to her chest and she's wearing a mask and her daughter's there and 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 and, and she's you know and me I'm obnoxiously loud as a man sometimes and so I'm, I'm walking towards church in Carlton and they look at me and she's looking at me like help right because she's a little five foot tall 90 pound Chinese woman with her six-year-old daughter her baby on her chest and she's got these two big, ugly monsters trying to follow her. These guys who could be busy or friendly to be respected, out of the way and on their way, straight up with guys, nice to the girls, nice to them. Instead, they're trying to follow this Asian woman around and her daughter and baby. And then they try to get, if someone's going to say hi to this nice woman, no one wants to look at them acting sketchy. But if someone looks at this woman, then they can start spazzing out and playing with their hair and kind of trick them into looking at them, you know, like they're a nice person by following a nice person, right? And so, um, so that's been a major issue, right? Um, so what did I do, right? I saw the woman, it's a baby, the kid, right? And I looked at the young lady and, um, and so I kind of, you know, kind of circled around behind them. And I was like, oh, don't worry, young lady. Lots of things happen in the big city, but there's lots of nice people around too. Don't worry about it, whatever, right? So I kind of said that to appeal to the kid. And then I yelled about the guys. I was like, we got to stop these goddamn scumbag zombies from trying to follow nice people around just to trick people into looking at them look ugly like they're nice. This is fucking bullshit. This is ridiculous, right? And these two big six foot three, 200 pound guys got embarrassed and ran away, right? And then the little girl turned around and looked at me and was like, huh? And I was like, she doesn't really understand how most people deal with this, which is nothing is happening. Uh, I'm not saying or doing anything, but... I'm glad that happened and those people are gone and life goes on, right? And that's been the case for a long time, right? Where nobody likes it, nobody wants to talk about it, nobody wants to, you know, uh, uh, argue with some lying bitchy bully that'll be even more of a lying bitchy bully. So you just put up with it, act like them, so you can't stand each other. Then you go look for nice people to bother. See a nice crazy person reading a book, run too close to bother them, force them to put up with you spazzing out. See this person, bother them. See that person, bother them. See this person, I've been nice to people. Uh, nice to this cashier at the grocery store yesterday, right? Hey, nice looking at you. Nice. And then somebody nearby spazzes out, put up with, look at me like that nice, you look at the, see how you look at that nice person, right? And I've literally been with patriots at, say, Toronto City Hall, fighting to free Faith Goldie from some bullshit she was going through. I'm talking with this nice patriot guy, older gentleman, seemed like a good guy. And he's like, what's your issue? And I'm like, you see how us talking to each other, like, see us talking to each other? You see, just like three, four feet away from us, how sometimes these rude, sketchy zombies run too close to us, trying to bother us because we're nice to each other, trying to force us to look at them, spaz out, you know, while we're being nice to each other and trying to get us to look at them because no one wants to look at them, getting acting rude and sketchy. And so they run close and they think that if they can get a nice look, like nice people looking at each other to land on them acting sketchy, right? And um, and they, um, they you know, the, the guy just gives me a knowing smile, shrug, you know, it's just, yeah, didn't really say, didn't say anything. Just, you know, just one of those, mm, mm, right? So it's the worst thing that's ever happened to people. And like a lot of red, in, red, red pill info, it's the hardest thing for people to talk about, right? When their family and friends, when all the men are acting like this and they're big bitchy bullies who can bully people into putting up with and acting like them. And they, you know, lose all respect. And no one wants to pay attention to our list room anymore because of that. 
And then they get bullied back by little bitchy bullies, smaller men or girls and kids who are pretend lying bitchy sketchy wives or girlfriends busting their balls while they're impotent, acting rude and sketchy with them, and they can't say or do anything to help or stop it or whatever. So they're, they lose respect that way, right? So I don't do this stuff. I don't bother people like that. I'm not a mess while someone's impotent. I'm not impotent while someone's a mess. And, uh, and I've defined how millions of people understand this and millions of people respect this. And I can talk about this stuff film this stuff um, when I, uh, I'm, I'm only an asshole to uh, lying bitches begging to be broken and bothering people who like being ignored or shit on and want to stop and otherwise um, I'm not and I'm super nice to people who are super nice to me even after they see all that stuff even after they even after all that happens right and this has been for the last few years and I've got a whole bunch on video in the Bay Street financial district sometimes sitting there doing nothing laptop webcam open not hiding anything just 17 inch laptop webcam sitting there headphones on too low avoiding all this rude sketchy tricky into looking at shit you're not going to like right and uh, reading my phone and I'll have you know hundreds and hundreds of people running up trying to bother a busy person spazzing out trying to force you to put up with something look at something you're not going to like running away right guys girls kids the smartest most successful people in canada in the bay street financial district toronto's version of wall street in new york right and other places eaton center mall whatever and people are either like acting stupid being ignored or shit on or they like knowing that i'm serious about being nice and they're super nice to me guys straight up guys cool guys friendly guys whatever girls the same or girls nice or girls cute or girls whatever appropriate I'm not trying to force me to put up with something not wasting my time with ugly shit they're forced me to look at but making it stand still in some appropriate way for who they are what they look like where we are how we know each other and so on right so there is still that human being in us that's getting the crap kicked out of it by this anti-human anti-free speech rude sketchy zombie zombiosis that's going on and so that's what i've documented extensively at manforwars.com and i've got millions of people millions of diverse people who understand canadian fight club and and they know it they understand it and especially recently with people who want to be more nice to each other more worried about stuff and guys want to be have a respectable seriousness and busyness about them less want to mess with each other whatever something on their minds girls want to be nicer want to be cool in case they need some help whatever I'm getting a lot of, yes, Mr. Durden, we know what to do. And hey, Mr. Durden, hope you're nice to me too, you know, from a lot of guys and a lot of girls. And I get some of this with my little Sony camera and and so on. So you're not just thinking I'm full of shit. I literally get this happening, right? And <clears throat> and and so um, I get that and I get that. And I get people who I cannot yell obnoxiously near because they show and get respect, right? Guys want respect, not trying to bother me, not trying to bother them, get my attention, get their attention, acknowledge each other, chill out. Girls, obnoxious, this is bullshit, this is ridiculous, but we can beat this scamdemic if we don't just be liars messing with each other and have liars in power messing with us, that we mess with each other too much to stop, right? You know, we, we, we want less assholes and more donuts. We have assholes in power making sure that we're assholes and we all have less donuts in communist Canada. This is bullshit. Guy will be like, yeah, cool, respect, no problem. Girl will be like, you know, hey, and sometimes I'll say, I didn't know you were here, right? And because I'll just calm down. I'll take my masculine whatever, Rottweiler barking when there's a cute poodle near nearby. I'll take that down, and it's all on HD video, right? Um, so a couple of key points here. Um, you know, just like the cops, we want less assholes and more donuts. Um, and, 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 you know, we don't want to uh, turn into human versions of dog shit on a stick, right? Sometimes some stupid kid will take a stick and they'll put it in some dog shit and they'll run near people and they'll trick you into looking at it and go, if they come close to you and go, yeah, and they go, yeah, yuck, right? Now the rude sketchy put up with me, force you to look at it is like a human version of dog shit on a stick, right? It runs too close to you. It knows you're not going to like it. It forces you to see something that's going to, you're not going to like, that's going to make you uncomfortable, right? So it's a human being turning into a uh, dog shit on a stick, tricking people into looking at it and being grossed out or saying yuck right and so that's it that's a key issue there right um and uh men respect it and women respect it and um and and that's that's good news right so um you know within this footage i'm at church in carlton make that point whatever make some similar points walk up uh to young in college right 
make that point, similar points, get it all, get the reaction of people, right? And then walk down to Young and Dundas and so on. And I've got tons of videos like this over the last few weeks uh, since March 2020 when this COVID-19 pandemic kicked off and uh, and before that for the last few years, which you can check out. And I've got a best of section at manforwars.com on the main page below the recent COVID-19 operations updates. So, um, so yeah, um, there you have it. I mean, it's Canadian Fight Club. It's, it's, it is what it is, right? Um, myself, you know, like Tyler Durden, right? I'm polite like Ed Norton and Tim Hortons. Otherwise, I'm talking crazy shit like Brad Pitt, right? And it's the same character, the same guy, right? And every guy can do this. Why? Because this proves, do not talk about Fight Club in mixed or mixed up company. But after, you have to. Otherwise, you suck at it or everyone respects you, right? I'll give you a, a, a brief example, right? Let's just say there's uh, four couples, right? Four couples, middle-aged couples, say 35, 40, 45, 50 years old, whatever, right? And they're at a dinner party, right? So it's dinner party, they're at one couple's house, three other couples show up, they're all sitting around the table, guy, guys and their wives, maybe some kids screwing around, playing around, maybe not, whatever, right? And they're all hanging out, they're eating, eating at the dinner, right? They're making some small talk. They're catching up. They're joking around. They're all smart you know, adults, you know, just talk about this, that, and the other, right? However, at the end of that dinner party, right, what often happens is the girls want to catch up in girly ways and the guys want to catch up in guy ways and they don't see each other that often, right? So at the end of dinner, I'll had some wine or beer or whatever, finished dinner, whatever, all mixed company, no big deal, only talking about mixed company stuff, maybe some more serious, maybe some less serious, but definitely mixed company stuff, right? There is a double standard that you want to maintain instead of all being turned into the same compliant corporate clone or commie zombie as part of this communist takeover, globalist communist takeover, right? I see more videos and stuff on my site and channel for, for more on that. But the point is you're at the dinner party and <clears throat> you are, you are the girls are like gonna get together and look at the photo album, right? The guys are gonna go in the backyard, they're gonna smoke cigars, they're gonna drink beers, and they're gonna talk sh real shit, right? And with the girls, again, they were just at dinner all together, but now the girls are looking at the photo album and they're all catching up and like, oh, isn't this nice or whatever, right? And the guys are in the back and not going, oh, isn't this nice? The guys are talking about more shit they can talk about with no girls around, right? And the girls don't mind, they like men who can talk, maybe not to them, you talk more around stuff with girls, more about stuff with guys, more direct with guys, more nuanced with girls, right? Not that they're stupid, but there is that double standard. And, and, and they definitely don't want to challenge things as much as men want to challenge things, right? And challenge each other, challenge things, right? As opposed to making things a little easier for the girls, you know, when you're hanging out with them. So the girls are looking at the photo album. The guys are in the backyard talking more serious shit. Blah, blah, this. Blah, blah, Trudeau that. Blah, blah, Trump this. Goddamn li liberal that. Goddamn conservative this. Goddamn oil prices that. Goddamn Nixon. Goddamn Eisenhower. Goddamn Howard Taft. You know, goddamn Lincoln. I can't believe he started the Civil War over this bullshit, right? You know, whatever it is, right? Whatever, right? Um, <clears throat> and, and the girls are fine with it. They like it. They're ha fine. They're happy with it. Right? They go, oh, the boys are all doing boy stuff. He, 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 right? So then one of the girls comes out after you guys been hanging out for a while and goes, hey guys, how's it going? You know, and she's a cute little poodle and the Rottweilers take their blah, 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 edge off. Oh, it's going great, honey. What's going on? And she goes, well, you know, we're probably going to leave in like an hour. And so uh, we're going to make some coffee. And uh, you guys want some coffee? That way you can help you sober up and we can drive home. Oh, sure, honey. That'd be great. You know, and then she goes back inside, makes your coffee and you guys get back to blah, 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 blah. Right. And that's an example of do not talk about Fight Club in mixed or mixed up and someone's a mess, can't handle anything, company, right? But otherwise you have to. And and, and these videos in Canadian Fight Club proves that and proves, proves how that is respected by men and women and children and proves that the opposite is shit, is rude, sketchy, dog shit on a stick or lying, bitchy, sketchy zombies bothering people they know to make them zombies than when they can't do much with each other bothering strangers to make them zombies. And that is much worse. And so these two raw videos from Saturday, April 18th um, are proving that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy, you know, they're free to use. And, and if you, you find them annoying, you know, no problem, you know, uh, you like them, fine. Either way, it's proof. And, and that's good enough. So BK for manforwars.com. 
Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, answers to work together, or financial support. Um, and uh, see the description below for more of what we can do today to deal with what's going on with this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, otherwise, hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.